morning guys welcome to my channel scuba travel and adventure and this morning I left 5:30 to be exact uh, to Waterton National Park for a dive it will be a solo dive I am already uh, 30 uh, minutes 30 40 minutes away from uh, from the lake and uh, the weather is looking good so far and uh, they were forecasting only 28 kilometers winds i'm hoping that's gonna be true because last time when i was here the winds were pretty solid and uh, i got into a snowstorm so today is another day um, the sun is just coming out um, uh, i'm already driving for almost two hours and i am getting closer so i am approaching uh, pincher creek right now and uh, I should be there shortly and uh, I'm not sure if the camera is gonna catch it but uh, look at that the weather is nice and clear you can see the mountains right in the front and that's Pincher Creek in front of us guys I have arrived uh, in Waterton Park and uh, it seems like it's a nice weather as predicted and uh, forecast was right this time and uh, I'll be just setting up uh, the lighting up the fire here in a shack on the side and uh, start uh, changing over and hopefully to do a nice uh, shallow dive and uh, enjoy the sceneries for a bit I'm here by myself uh, all alone and this beautiful park it's winter it's like minus 13 degrees uh, celsius of course uh, i'm in canada so it's uh, celsius and uh, i don't know the fahrenheit but uh, anyway so let's get the wood and let's get the fire going gotta get that equipment inside here first so let the tanks warm up a bit i've got some leftover firewood yesterday uh, leftover fence boards and so on that should do the trick that suitcase weighs a ton. It's got the side mount uh, gear on there and dry suit, everything. Uh, the, in this suitcase, I carry all my scuba gear. It's the easiest way to carry it. I've stopped on the way at the gas station to get some flyers, uh, fire starter. There was no newspapers, so. I hope that wood is gonna burn because I was sitting behind the garage in the snow for a couple months now. And, uh, it got a little bit wet, but uh, when I cut it inside, it wasn't too wet. So it's nice to change uh, when it's warm in here and not freeze like I did the other day uh, or the other time when I was diving on the other side at Emerald Bay. Uh, it makes so much more pleasant uh, entry to the water when uh, when you're warmer, then you get cold actually before. You go into the water so that's that's that little fireplace here it, uh, it uh, does the trick uh, we used it before as well and sometimes when i have a normal firewood you can even like uh, cook some sausages in here so there we are this is cameron bay nice and quiet today I got the fire going it's a good start now it's good it will get a bit warmer in here by that time I'll put my tent together set up the rags
it is just amazing. And it's getting warmer too. It was minus 13, I bet right now it's probably minus 3. That was in like an hour and a half. How quickly it warmed up once the sun came over the mountains. Look at the water. No waves.
went pretty well. I stayed shallow, about 40 feet. Unfortunately, uh, my camera totally um, fogged up inside. Uh, the temperature change was too big. The water temperature is about uh, two degrees. And on the surface, I think right now we have about two degrees. I never checked, but it's pretty warm actually outside. Uh, the, it's warming up very quickly from the moment when I went into the water. Uh, I did manage to do a 45 minute dive and I kept it, uh, I think the deepest point I went is about uh, 46 feet or so. I will keep it low, uh, shallow and uh, I did that uh, just for safety. Uh, the water is quite cold and uh, unfortunately the visibility in the water is not as good as I would expect. Uh, I was expecting to be uh, way better. Usually winter has got very nice visibility in this location. Uh, unfortunately, I swam all along to the rock side or to the cliff side uh, where the castle is located and uh, maybe on its uh, on a good part uh, through the dive. I had about uh, 15 feet, 15, 20 feet. Uh, the, the deeper you go, um, the worse the visibility gets. Uh, it is what it is, uh, but it was still a beautiful day uh, to be outside and uh, away from everything and daily routines, uh, to relax and I'm good to go for another six weeks and six days uh, at work starting tomorrow. Um, but uh, before I head out of here, after I change everything, I will stop in a couple other places right here in Waterton uh, to film it and add it to that video because uh, this place is really, really wonderful. And the wind is still uh, pretty decent. Uh, it picked up, uh, it's changing very drastically actually. Um, when I was entering the water, there was almost no wind. And right now I'm thinking uh, slightly over 20 kilometers uh, by the feel of it, uh, or maybe 25-ish. Um, but yeah, it is uh, beautiful still. So for those that never been here, uh, look at the weight changing everything. I came in, the water was nice, calm, no waves. And now, uh, almost three hours, not even three hours later, the wind is picking up and it's howling like crazy. It changes pretty much every few minutes. It's uh, pretty, pretty intense uh, when you're here for the first time. Uh, if you come here often, obviously you know the idea of what, uh, what to expect here in water. The are just gorgeous. I was expecting uh, snow because other divers were telling me that there's a lot of snow in here. Unfortunately, uh, no snow, so which is good. No ice to get in. The access to the water is great. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the visibility not so much. Uh, the visibility is not that great today, but um, I still had an awesome dive. And now it's uh, time to head home. I will stop at um, Cameron Falls on the way. Uh, just to have a look uh, how it looks, if it's frozen or not. Uh, I don't think it will be because those uh, few days, uh, last few days was pretty warm. So uh, the temperature is getting down uh, at night, but uh, during the day it's pretty warm. So um, I don't think it's going to be nice and frozen as I, as I saw it uh, last year, for example, or even on my last trip uh, a couple of weeks ago here. Uh, if you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button, check out all my other dives uh, on my uh, playlist uh, here and uh, with the better visibility and also on the other side here at uh, Emerald Bay where the lake of the Gertrude is. Uh, I was diving the last time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. That's always appreciated. And for now, cheers. Talk to you later.